Hello everybody, this is Bronco Juggalo, and we are back with our part twos in Franchise Frenzy. This is the second tier of our ranking. And I will be honest with you, after watching Jason and Joe's videos last month, and seeing how quickly they got through 60 franchises, I almost wish I would have done more. I really do. Actually, let's cut the almost, let's just say I do, because... Even though it would have been a lot more movies to watch again, it would have been a lot of fun. And you know what? This has been fun, even with 15. But let's get on with our ranking of the 15 franchises I chose for Franchise Frenzy. At number 15, we have The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. Now, I will admit that the last time I watched this movie, I got a little more enjoyment out of it. But the last time I watched it was with Jason, and it's always better to watch movies you don't like with friends because you do enjoy the time you spent, and it brings more nostalgia to the film. I have never liked this film, you know that, but oh well. This is an awesome cover though too, isn't it? Now in at number 14 is Children of the Corn 2. Now unfortunately, the only thing I have Children of the Corn 2 through 7 on was a value pack from Walmart, and uh, it's this one and this one. This has 2, 3, 4. This one has 5, 6, 7. But that's okay. Still a good film. Maybe before Franchise Frenzy is over, I'll have gotten these back in their cases. In the number 13 spot, we have Saw 2. Now, I can already hear people that think Saw 2 should be ranked higher, but that's where it is for me. This is one of my least favorites in this franchise. I mean, Saw 2 is a film that I like so little that Evil Bong 2, King Bong came in ahead of it at number 12. Now this does have the 3D version on it, so if you're stoned, coming in at number 11 is Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge. Now I do really like this movie, but it is one of my least favorites of this franchise, and it's up against some pretty stiff competition going forward. The top 10 are pretty tough. So sorry, Freddy. Unfortunately, in this one, you're coming in late. Kicking off the top 10, we have Wrong Turn 2, Dead End. Really enjoy this movie. Love the commando, uh, Henry Rollins character. Just fantastic. Coming in at number 9, we have Jason's favorite Omen film, which is Damien, Omen 2. At number 8, we have The Revenge of Frankenstein from Hammer. This is my indicator copy, which is really, really dope. For the number 7 spot, we have Scream 2. Revenge of the Musical number. Just kidding. Scream 2, number 7. So check it out, guys. My Hellbound Hellraiser 2 and my Hellraiser Part 1 from Arrow did both come in. Unfortunately, they didn't get here before I did my Part 1s. But they're here now, so here is Hellbound Hellraiser 2. Now, on this one and on Halloween 2, I struggled to figure out which one to show you. But this but time, I decided to go with the Steelbook. So, in at the top five is Friday the 13th, Part 2. You know, I tease Jason and Joe a lot about this movie, but it is really good. In at number four is Leprechaun 2. Truly love this movie. One of my absolute favorites. This is a franchise that is not getting near enough love from everybody. All right, guys, it's time for the top three, and coming in at number three, we have Evil Dead 2. Now, this is from the Groovy Collection. This thing is super, super dope. For number two, we have Halloween 2. I swear I didn't plan that like that. Can you believe that a part two comes in at number two on the tier two of part twos? Yes, so Halloween 2, Scream Factory 4K, really cool addition. Awesome. Guys, it's time for the number one, and that is Child's Play 2. Love this film. Such an amazing movie. It has gone back and forth of which movie is my favorite in this franchise, and 2 is always in the conversation. So Child's Play 2 is right there at number one. That's it for this month, guys. I hope you enjoyed Franchise Frenzy this month. Check out everybody else doing Franchise Frenzy. I know for a fact that we have Joe the Horror Man, we have Horrific Nightmares JM. We have Rusting Willpower. We have Mr. Dan and Horror. Uh, we have another gentleman, 
by the name but that I'm also going to mess up and I'll get it right next time I promise otaku something he's doing it um, I'll put it in the description box. Sorry for the mess up, guys. Aside from that, I'm not sure who else is doing it yet because I'm actually filming this on the day that our part ones all came out. So I'm not sure everybody else that has done one yet. Before I go, I want to give a special shout out and a get well soon to Little Miss Freak Show. I hope you do better. I hope you feel better real quick. This is Bronco Juggalo saying see you next month. Peace. Thank you.